So I'm standing here with the wonderful Jan McNeilan. And of course, Jan, this is the tips of the month. Right, here so we let's, go. Yeah, let's jump right in. What okay. do you got for us? Uh, my first one is tomato hornworms. Okay. And they're, you're not going to see them this time of year, but they're the size of your finger. Wow. Your index finger. So you're going to notice them if you see them. Yeah, <laughs> you are. But here, in some places they are pests. I mean, they're big time pests. But here, they're really not. And if you don't want to have them on your plant, you can move them to something they don't like or just pick them off. But there was a, a question that we got that somebody said that uh, tomato hornworms were pets. It's like, <laughs> <Okay>. no, <laughs> they're raised to feed pets, oh, like so lizards and iguanas probably. and things like that. So people do raise worms, mealworms, right, things right. for their pets. So I just wanted to clear that up. And, and, here, and what do they turn into? They turn into, there's a lot of different kinds of hornworms. Uh -huh. This is just a rough drawing. Uh, but they turn into a hawk moth, a hummingbird moth. Wow. Um, but there's also another uh, larva that gets about that big that is a polyphemus that turns into a great big gorgeous moth with eyes on it like an owl. Oh, wow. Anyway, wow. so that's just an idea. Somebody can look it up more and see, see more, information more information about it. it. But not a huge issue that we have here. No, it's not. Area. But it's neat when you see it. It's right, fun. Right. It's fun. Um, apical dominance, meaning the very top of the plant is the one that has the most hormones in it to grow. So if you top a tree or a shrub, uh, if you take that top leader off, the bottom part is going to shoot water sprouts and other. Okay. And so this is an example. This is a, a dwarf magnolia. Which you pruned, pruned last year, right? I pruned it hard. We'll see what it does. But you can see that, that I left one that's tall. Right. And guess what? It's got bu buds on it that are ready to bloom. So it has the most energy and strength in it right now. And then the rest of these will set buds for next year. Which means you can still prune it in the future. Sure. But w once you get that established, you're not going to get like a, a like a shrubby ball of a plant. No, yeah. no, okay. no. So, but what I, you know, we've done some other pruning in the back and uh, we've topped some of them. We'll see what happens with the water sprouts. Right, right. See what yeah. happens. Um, the other thing is traps for aphids, white flies, things like that. Um, for in the greenhouse for white flies and aphids. And I'll move the cat. <laughs> and Sorry, ducky. Go, ducky. <laughs> um, you make sticky traps. And you can use Vaseline. You can use uh, Elmer's glue. You can use... Uh, uh, rubber cement and just literally paste it on a piece of cardboard or whatever there's blue there's green and there's yellow and it doesn't make any difference what it is it can be a can of STP or whatever just as oh, long so as it's just, yellow okay I get it then now. you can put this on and uh, and put it in you can put it in flats in your greenhouse you can hang it from a tree do whatever you need to do depending on if you're after uh, flying insects or not and uh, I'll give you an idea of what these colors uh, uh, get. Uh, yellow is white flies, fungus gnats, winged aphids. The winged kind, not the ones without, because right. they're not right. going to run around. Uh, leaf miners and some parasites. That's wow. for yellow. Green will get aphids, spittle bugs, and leaf hoppers. So they actually, the colors actually then matter. Right? Yeah, the color matters because of what it's going to attract. Um, but you're going to. Uh, Depends on if you're wanting to spray. It's it's as a monitor trap, so you know that they're there. Right. If you want to spray, you and if you just want to get them stuck to it, the more traps you have, you may take care of your problem, problem. without kind of. doing anything. Well, you know, we always get great information, often stuff that I'm even unaware of that you can do in your garden. So, uh, you know, we'll do this all again for, uh, next month for more tips in the garden. Thank you so much, Jen. Okay, we'll do it again. Thank you.